tight-knit community that is St. Bernard. People gathered at the Katrina Monument there for a measure of closure. And as WDS reporter Heath Allen tells us, that moment was bittersweet. An amazing morning. The rays from a brilliant sun gracing the banks of the Mr. Go. A far cry from this same morning 10 years ago when Katrina visited death and destruction on St. Bernard Parish. People gathered here to remember the lost. 164 people would die in the storm. Names that will never be forgotten. Grandmothers, grandfathers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. All of the names on the Katrina Memorial read aloud, one by one. Earl Meyer, Helen Meyer. Mary Lind, Dominique Liutza. Dominique Laiza was my brother Mark's wife, um, and unfortunately she perished um, in this horrific storm. For Maureen and everyone else, this day was one for remembrance, but at the same time... For me, today is going to be a day of letting it go, um, and a day of being grateful for all the wonderful things that have come to St. Bernard Parish. The ceremony, simple and reflective, and the message came loud and clear. God will have helped us to draw a greater good out of our immense suffering. May that be our continued prayer. You'll always remember, but I think we have to put this behind us and move on. The future's a lot brighter than the past. My faith just keeps me going. Time to move on. Time to move on. My um, Aunt Rebecca and my cousin Glenn Rambo. What does this day mean to you? We were here. It's very emotional. After years of fighting to hold on to all that is dear, letting go can be tough. For the folks here in St. Bernard, they draw strength from one another and a power far stronger than Katrina. On your side in Shell Beach, Heath Allen, WDSU News.